What's going on, guys? About to check out Candace Owens. I know I highly enjoy watching her content. Apparently, I don't know how to say this woman's name. I'll probably be messing it up. Holly, no, I feel like it's disrespectful calling her Holly Quinn. The DCEU's Holly Quinn, Margaret Robbie, I think that's how you say her name. Chick that was in what? Barbie? The Barbie movie? I think she was also in, uh, what's his name? The name of this damn movie. <laughs> Wall Street? <laughs> right? I think she was in that too. There's a few things. There's a few things. Unless I'm getting the actress confused. Um, she isn't getting an Oscar. I I didn't think she was even getting one. For what? But what, what do people think? So, all right, let's check out what Candace has to say about this. Oscar. All right, guys, let's get into a time machine let's and revisit this moment from 2009. Where were you when this happened at the MTV VMA Awards? So thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I yeah. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best sure. videos of all time. Oh, yay was crazy. This, this was yay in his prom, boy. This is yay in his prom. I don't know what it is. I like villains. Um, Even on reality TV, I'm a villain. Um, I'm a villain, actually, on YouTube, if you think about it. Maybe anti-hero. Yeah, I'll call myself an anti-hero. But yeah, that was a great moment. That was funny as hell. Super funny. And it made Taylor Swift's career even more. Oh, I remember where I was. I was so angry. It's actually really funny to watch it now because we're 14 years removed from it. But we all remember how outraged we were. Taylor Swift was, was up there so innocent. And I used to love Taylor Swift back then. And she was so excited to win this award for the best music video. And then Kanye, how evil he jumps on stage and takes it for her. And then he very quickly became persona non grata. Everybody in Hollywood came after him. But Taylor Swift, yeah. I would say, benefited from the scandal. She was everywhere following that, which is why he says he made her famous. <laughs> yes. Like this happens throughout history. Taylor Swift, Rihanna, whoever can claim victimhood can make a career. Lizzo, even though she's disgusted as hell behind the scenes. That she owes her yes. for his fame. But the reason why I'm revisiting that circumstance is because now that we're able to reflect on it, we can think Meg about it uh, in a way that removes us from the earlier emotion. And I think Kanye was obviously making a very valid point. While people disagreed with him for his style, no one's ever accused Kanye West of being polite, right? When he does these things, no one actually disagreed with the claim that he made on stage. So I'll jog your memory. Taylor oh, won for best video for her song, You Belong With Me. Here was the video oh, for that song. What? All right, come on. See, now anyone... <laughs> Who has watched any video I've done on Candace Owens giving criticism to Taylor Swift? I say this all the time. Taylor Swift only got two good songs. Blank Space, You Belong With Me. I, I love that song. I love the music video. I love everything. That's what I didn't even know. That's the video. He was, he was definitely tripping. I love that song. It's like a, a coming of age movie. It's like super sweet. I love coming of age movies just in general. Right? 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink. Uh, what's my favorite one? Um, 13 Going on 30. Love that movie. Love that movie. That's like a, a thing that not many people would expect from me. But yeah, fam, I love that song. That's a really good song. As well as I think the song that Beyonce was nominated for was Put a Ring on It. And if you don't know, Beyonce is one of the biggest thieves and music she still everything and claim it as her own she said that she wrote irreplaceable we have audio of neo singing the whole song before you had it what are you talking about you wrote it 
you know how drunk you sound? Like, what? To so where Neo went off about it, and of course, the industry came knocking on his door. Hey, you can't talk about the queen. And he apologized and said, okay, I give her some credit for writing the background vocals. What? No, no, that doesn't mean you wrote the song. That sounds stupid. That sounds, that sounds stupid. And this is as someone who's a writer. <laughs> I'm a writer who right now I have background vocals on a Warner uh, music artist song right now. I'm not telling people I wrote the song. I got a production credit. I ain't write it though. I didn't write it. I wrote a song. The song that they made at the end don't sound nothing like my song, but my vocals are in the background. I'm not going to tell people I wrote the damn song. That sounds crazy. But I do have production credits because I did the, um, some of the drums as well. But yeah, fam, like, you know, Beyonce's a thief. Oh, but the reason why I bring up all this thievery is she stole the dance moves from that music video. This is a fact. This I can show you. Let me see. If she says put a ring on it, I'll find the video that she stole and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Hey, I don't care what nobody say, judge me. And guess what? I love Miley Cyrus too. Judge me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Hannah Montana, if we were a movie, is one of the best songs Miley Cyrus ever wrote or did. I don't know if even if she wrote it. That's the best fucking song. Are you it? I dare you. It's my shit. Because it sounds like a coming of age movie, which is literally the plot of the song if we were a movie look it's cute it's teeny bopper she's dancing and she's holding up signs for a guy uh, she's changing her clothes into the different outfits in front of a mirror nice. it was definitely well. a very cute video and teenagers loved it but yes beyonce did in fact put out one of the greatest music videos of all time that year i thought this I mean, was gonna be about somebody else i didn't know that the beginning was gonna be about uh taylor swift well we got a two for one remind you of what the single ladies music video looked like. People were hyped just because Beyonce was thick and moving and gyrating. And watch this. Tell me they didn't take the moves. And then also tell me why the hell did she deserve the award and why was her video the best? Right? Explain this to me. We're going to mute the music, though. We're going to mute the music. But you know what? I could probably just mute the music and post. <laughs> I'll mute the music after, right? Just so we get the... Nah, let me do it right now. Let's do it right now. All right. I'm going to mute it and post. Come on. Come, come on. This is insane. This is this is the same moves. Fam, your kid, yo, you gotta be. They did the Beyonce is a thief. Fam, there's like a thousand cases of this, bro. There's mad cases, songs, music videos, dance moves, and it ain't just her, Drake, Jay-Z. Well, we already knew Dr. Dre had people writing phones. All right. That's it. They all still. They all still, fam, and sue the hell out of people. It's nasty. So what did she deserve her award for? Best video? What did she do other than take, take moves? This is crazy. The video that she's copying is from like the, the 70s or 60s, bro. Oh, oh, come on. You still want to dance when you see it. It was wonderful. It was artistic. Don't mind seeing Candace do that. Dance. And Kanye was no understandably outraged. Again, I'm not justifying the way he went about it. But understandably outraged. Like, why are we even here if we're not going to be awarding people based on a meritocracy? That was the point he was making. Of course, Taylor. I disagree. Yo, Beyonce did not deserve that. But what, for stealing it? Come on, bro. Come on, she, she danced in the white room. She took a dance. 
she stole someone else's dance and was in a white room. Like, what, why, why does she deserve awards for this? That don't make no sense. Taylor Swift should not have beat out Beyonce if it was based on merit uh, me for really her video, Taylor. You Belong With Me, when weighed against single ladies. It, it, it is out. Y'all really got me defending Taylor Swift. Nah, that video was better. I stand by it. Gay was wrong. You just watched the podcast clip. Oh, yeah, I got a podcast. Real Talk with BXB. Real Talk with BXB's boy. You can. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Check that out. The link should be in the description. It's, it's a good experience. But trust me. Why you? Don't be judging me.